Hello everybody and welcome back to Splatoon The Last Splatfest. I had trouble getting that out. In the last episode we played some games, we got a few more wins than losses, I think. No, we lost a lot, never mind. Um, this time we're gonna try and get our lead back and also, that is very awesome. It's insane the things that people can make on here. And here we have a Go Team Kelly with a bow. Even though Marie is the one with the bow, does Kelly have a bow as well? Oh, she does. Huh. I didn't know they both had bows. Anyway, cool. Uh, let's see if we can find any other cool ones while we're here. Oh, you see? Look at that! That looks so cool and, like, comic-like. It's... it's amazing. Look at these. Look at these! I can never do this. I would never be able to do this in a thousand years. Now let's look at all the ones on the wall. They also repeat a lot, too. Look at this. That's cute. That's cool and cute. I don't know why she kind of looks pregnant here, but that's cool. Guess it's just hips. Splatfest Team Marie, I agree, friendo. What's on this? Oh, that's the same thing. So yeah, um, I think I'm actually going to switch my gear around a little bit. See if we can't get some more optimal stuff. Uh, that hasn't unlocked yet. I think it would unlock in like one more game. Um, this one's good, because it has the uh, special charge up and ink saver for your sub and stuff, and more running speed. I don't think that would help me too much, but I'm looking around and it's kind of looking like the best thing that we can get. Um, we have some ones that haven't unlocked everything. This one's for when I want to use an ink brush and I want to move real quick. Um, ooh, that has, a, that has a lot of special saver. Ooh. So now you want to be sure that you use that special duration up with something that's not like, you know, like an ink strike or something that's only one use, because then it doesn't matter that you have that ability. That is a really good ability, though. Um, and with like Kraken, that can really destroy. Also, notice I changed my weapon. You know what? Let's do it. We'll basically be like a Kraken like 90% of the time, so that's cool. Our shoes are really good, so we're going to stick with those. Anyway, without further ado, let's once again begin the matches. Why don't we? Back on to Splatfest battle. Let's see if we can get back above 1,200 here. Remember when I said my goal was like 2,000? Well, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Alright. So I guess I'll cut until we get another game. Gidge? Zaza? Old man. With old man on our team, there's no way we can lose. <laughs> All right, here we are at Kelp Dome. Got to ink the most turf to win. We're using our slosher for the first time. We have two arrow sprays and a in zap. They have like a bunch of splatlings, so not sure how that's gonna work. But we should probably be the ones responsible for covering this. Well, got an arrow spray on it, so I think they'll do fine. Uh, make sure we catch all this. So note that like the slosher does a lot of damage if you manage to hit with it. Probably does like I think two hits and then they're down. I don't use the slosher that much, but. For just a splat fest, it ought to be just fine. Go ahead and cover all this land. It covers land real quick. I see you. I see you, boy. Get out of my turf. Wow, that did last a while. I was expecting it to go away like three times, but then I remember, dude, we have the special long time. Whoop. Uh, oh, they trapped us. They trapped us. It's the strategic trap. If I can get him! No, he's running away! Boy! Ugh! Come on. I gotta escape. Too much stress right there. Oh, I didn't realize there was a guy there. I would've kept throwing there if there if I knew. How did he not get hit by, like, the first three shot, two shots I shot there, though? Anyway. Loving that stealth jump. It'll help us out as well. Go ahead and splat these spots. With the slosher aiming at a certain spot is a different matter because they're like wherever it hits it makes a large splash. So you're going to want to like cover like that. Oh my god, they're all up there. 
I'm just using the Kraken to get away. Maybe I should get up there. Okay, cover up this land. Yeah, I'm gonna get up there. Oh! Not doing that. Yo, the comeback. Oh, there's one of these. Yeah, we don't want that. Where'd he go? I think he's gone. Okay, let's try and get him. Okay, got him. Jeez, that was kind of a, a miss fest for both of us. Yo, no one's taking this. Although I guess it's like, you could argue it's more important to get the one that's the enemies are on. Because, you know. What? Where'd he go? Freaking die. Alright, I think we're doing pretty well for ourselves so far. Oh yeah, looks like it. <laughs> I think we're winning this one. Sweet. Start off an episode with a win. I will take that. Let's get summoned to their base. Knock him out. Okay, I need more ink. One thing about being on those grates is you can't, like, uh... He has to charge up. Ooh, he just got his special. Not sure what it is. And it was a Kraken. The one thing I didn't want. Hopefully the one person that's alive can hold the turf. Uh-oh. Oh, we have most of the middle. I think we're good. Oh, we're alive. Um, ooh. Uh-oh. I think they may have come back at the very end when they killed three of us at once. Uh, it's gonna be close. No, oh, we still... <laughs> oh my god. They're gonna be salty about that, man. Oh my god, I'd be mad. <laughs> oh god, and they had one person with nine kills and two deaths. Insane. I'm just gonna call it kills and deaths because it's easier than saying splats and splatteds. Alright, well, I like this team. Let's do this again. Alright, we got a game at the Kelp Dome again. I'm definitely down for that. Let's see how we can do. We got Old Man on our team with a golden arrow spray. Alright, and note that you have to mash the button to use this too. You can't just hold it down or else you just do nothing. Oh, we have a roller. Okay, then he can take care of the base. Nah, I want to build up this Kraken so I can start getting some of the enemy team lines. So I can start pushing out. Here, let's like get all this. Here we go. Cover that land, and I'm low on ink. This is another weapon that can be stressful on your ink. Okay, we have it charged, now we can just use it whenever we're in a stressful situation. Leg now! Got him! <laughs> That definitely was not necessary. There's a guy right above me. Can't get him as a Kraken. So yeah, if you see a Kraken going around, I'd say get on the grates, because there's nothing you can do. Because as a squid, you go through the gates. Kraken pretty much counts as always being in squid state, so you can't go on the grates. So it's interesting. Oh, I can get him. I can get him. I can get him. Get, get, get out of here. Get out of here, Jenny. We don't need any of your stuff. We are destroying, but once again, as the last game showed us, we probably don't want to get too lenient. They could come back at any time. They have an ink brush, but as long as I have the upper ground, they shouldn't be able to do anything about me. I see you there. I saw him, but I couldn't get him. He was on the wall, and he had an end zap, 83. They're coming back. They have the middle ground. We're all down. Come on, guys. We gotta get this ground again push back out. Uh, I have the splatter wall. I haven't used it yet. Here. Let's give us some ground. Because they can't shoot through the wall, and if they run into it, they die. Nope! Uh, I saw an enemy over here. Oop, he's coming. Get out of here. Uh, okay, we got him. One guy jumped away. Ugh, this is bad. We're kind of losing all of our ground that we had. Here. Let's just make sure we have this middle ground. As long as we have that, we'll probably win. Oh, they're in our base again. Can you, like, die? Thank you. Okay. I'm just gonna do this just so I can get up in here. Start splatting all this area. 
I see you. Ugh! Oh, there was a guy behind me too. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And they have most of our base splatted as well. Quality control, not quality control, damage control. Let's get all this back quick. Here, just try to splat some of this. Um, I don't know if we got that. I think that's a loss. Uh-oh. Once again, one that looked like we were going to destroy them at the beginning with an awesome comeback on their part. Insane. Although, we, once again, we have like four close range fighters. Man, that was a hard game. It's gonna be a hard road getting up to uh, king or queen. And I believe we even have like one more in between king and defender. I don't know, I don't remember what it was. I think it's champion if I remember correctly. All right, once again at Kelp Dome. I'm definitely not complaining. It's one of my fa it's my favorite stage, probably absolute favorite. Let's see, we have Aero Sprays and Splattershot Juniors on their team. So uh, we're gonna have to watch out for close range, so I'm probably going to want to be as far as possible from them. Works for me. As long as they don't have like a Splattershot Pro which like destroys everything, no matter what you are. I'm hitting the wall. Let's go this way, that guy's got that way covered. Go ahead and cover some ink. Almost have my Kraken too. Uh, he's waiting. I don't care, I'll wait it out. Also, rude? How did he, what was he doing there? He's just waiting. You know what? Oh no, he's going out into the grating. I'm gonna wait for them to come to me. Ugh! No, I tried to press R, the R button, but I couldn't, and that was just to get away. It was a trade, though, so I guess fair enough. But they're destroying us. Got him. We're good. Go ahead and do some damage control. I have my Kraken again, so let's go in. Full-heartedly and try to take them out as well as we can. It's also a good thing to use, like, save like Kraken for whenever you're running out of ink. <laughs> okay. Gotcha! See ya! Go ahead and get all of this. Is there another one? Uh, I think you got him. Oh no, that's not okay. Uh, we're making a comeback. So apparently this is the comeback stage. So hopefully we can hold it. I'm not going to try and go into their base. I'm going to just hold down my side, and if I notice them going into our base, I'm going to take... Uh, lagged a bit there. If I notice them going into our base, I'm going to take... The measures to save it. Get out ranged, kids. Ugh, got him. He did not know what he was getting himself into. I'm liking this actually. Quite a bit for uh Perf War. Yeah, that was a guaranteed trade. I wasn't supposed to get that close to an arrow spray. It shoots like 20 shots a second. So uh probably not something you want to deal with close up. Although it has like no attacking power, it's still Insanely high firing rate, probably the highest in the game. Uh, I can't get you if you're on the grate. I can, however, do this. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. You're out of here. They try, but they fail. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crack in at the end to try and just take up their base. Uh, they're kind of going into our base. Okay. Oh, they traded. Just gonna, <laughs> just gonna do this and make a trail. Uh, we won that. That looks like a pretty decisive win in our favor. Not bad, I think at least. Okay, well, seven percent's not that bad. I'll take it definitely. We had two rollers. Slightly different. Uh, eight kills and two deaths. Not bad at all. In fact, everyone on our game was uh, either neutral or positive for kills. Not bad. I will take that and eat it. For sure. Alright, finally a different stage. We got more A Towers. I'm kind of... I think we played this with the Slosher once. Not sure. 
I'm enjoying the slosher though. I've played quite a few games with it, and uh, it is a fun game. Or er, the fun game. A fun weapon. At least for Turf War. I probably wouldn't use it for any ranked matches or modes, but uh, maybe Rainmaker. It could be possibly useful for that. Got to get some more ink. Uh, did we have a roller? Because if so, I'd rather them take care of this and me try to get the, the central. Because, like, the slosher is good for holding points. Oh, we have two of them. Frick it. I'll get that. Slosher's great for holding points. Does a lot of damage, covers a lot of area. It is pretty fair. They are also up there. But we knocked them out. Okay, we're good. Moving on, then. Just try to cover as much of this as I can. We've got a guy up there. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about going up there now. I'm gonna cover him with ink so he can get away, but he couldn't. Are they ever gonna jump down, or are they just gonna let us cover all this back up? Oh, I'm not dealing with your nonsense, good sir. I can get you too. I know you're here. Oh, he fell off. He killed himself, okay. I mean, a Kraken's not worth, you know, just jumping off. Oh, the free, the free special filling. Whenever someone just uses a bomb rush right in front of you. Also, they have a sniper. And they have a long-range weapon. What was that? Well, I was thinking about the other one. Oh, they have a Splattershot Pro. That can take us down pretty easily. Um, I'm going to want to get as close as possible to that guy. Speaking of which, nope, he got him. Okay, well, fair enough. Where are they? I'm gonna want to keep distance from the end zap. Get him! Okay, thank you. Oh, he got me. I was gonna try and at least trade with him, but... We need to go up there and get him. He is uh, sniping us good. Although I think I might have been the first one to die to him. I keep forgetting that I can jump to my partners. I'm so used to Overwatch. It takes a while to get back used to other FPSs. Dude, I see you there. Don't be dumb. Oh, well, I just jumped into three of them, so maybe I'm the dumb one. Uh-oh, they have control of the front. I'm gonna jump to him. Uh-oh. Okay, that was a trade. Good. So if I can just cover as much of this as I can, we might be good. They have quite a bit of our side covered. Just take care of that. Is there a guy behind me? No. Okay, good. I see you! Get out of my face! Here, let's do something risky. I'm gonna wait. Gonna cover this a bit more. And we're gonna move up. Okay, that's our color. He was covered in so much of the enemy's ink I couldn't tell. Ooh! The last second splat. I don't think I did it, though. But yeah, that's a win for Team Marie once again. This slosher's working out for me, gotta say. 52 to 28, that is decisive. Not bad. So that's going, uh, we got four kills and three deaths. Oh, everyone got four kills, okay, nice. One of their guys got nothing, though. The, it was the guy with the splatter shot as well. Anyway, I think I'm going to change weapons. Uh, see you at the next match. All right, and for our first match with the Carbon Roller, we're going to be playing at Walleye Warehouse. This Carbon Roller, in particular, uh, it's a very fast-moving roller, so I'm going to be covering sp covering ground more than killing enemies. Although, if I do sneak up on someone, I will use it. Um, but it has uh, Seekers, which is basically like a bomb chew, if you can imagine that. And it has Bomb Rush, so I can throw a bunch of Seekers at once, which is an extremely powerful thing, if I do say so myself. Seekers are dangerous. They, uh, more likely than not, uh, probably get m the most kill- Oh, nope. See, if someone sees me, I want to get the heck out of there at once. Here, eat one of these. I just splatted both of them with one Seeker. You see the power of that? That's pretty good. Hopefully our team can take out the other two. Okay, one- Okay, so it's now 3v1 right now. What are you doing, dude? Move forward. Oh, he has a- Here. Get out of here, dude. Ooh, you see, this one's not really the most powerful roller, so I'm going to have to be a bit more stealthy if I want to get stuff done. Here, let's uh, get this land behind us just in case. Oh my god. That's not a fun thing to see. 
I'm gonna cover all that up, and you know what I'm gonna do? Kill you if you. Ugh. Okay, I probably should have been swinging my thing. He has a carbon roller too. Hey, Christ, same weapon. Okay, we are getting absolutely destroyed here. Not sure how, because at the beginning, we knocked out their entire team. But uh, our team didn't move forward at all. I'm just going to focus on covering this up. I have my thing. I'm going to use it here. So basically, we can just throw a ton of Seekers and try to get people. I see you back there. Oh, I'm low on ink. I used an extra Seeker. Dang. And it didn't get her either, which surprises me the most. I covered a ton of ground with that, though. Oh my god. You see, this is why I don't usually play a roller, because I suck at it. And man, it even takes like two hits with this thing to knock him out. Which is pretty bad. Get him! Thank you! Alright, let's just try to cover all this up. Damage control! Get it all over the place so we can establish ground. Where's my- where's the rest of my team? I don't see my team. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Well, I got him. I think I probably should have killed him first. I think that was a bit unfair, but whatever. Uh, looks like we're kind of establishing our ground again. I'm going to do damage control on the base here. Oof. We still have 13 seconds to make a comeback. It looks like it's kind of happening. I'm running away from that because I don't want to deal with that. Frick you. I'm more worried on ground. No, look at this! Oh, no. I don't think we did it. Yeah, I think they pushed way too hard on the sides and they got us. Nope. It was kind of close. 11% about that much. Yeah, you can see why I don't play roller. Got five killed. One guy only died once and uh, I think it was a 3v4. He must have died and then un unconnected, disconnected or something. Like, whenever you see stats that low, that's a bit weird. You should you should never see stats that low. Anyway, I'm going to switch weapons. Alright, we're playing at Moray Towers with the H3 Nozzle Nose. To be honest, I've never played with this weapon before, so I have no idea how it plays. Uh, I guess I'll test it out a bit here. Oh, it's semi-automatic. You have to mash that button to shoot it. Okay, that could work. I'm sure it has quite a sh bit of shooting power, and it has pretty good range as well. So that's pretty good. And it also has a... Uh... What's my R? Okay, it's a suction bomb, which basically sticks to wherever you throw it first. And my special is the Echo Locator, so I will be able to find the enemies pretty well here. This feels like it'd be more of an assault weapon rather than a covering ground weapon. Let's see where they are. Okay, they're all up on their base, so we're good at the moment. I think one of them has a sniper. I have an itch on my nose. I'm sorry. Bomb rush. That'll just charge up my echo locator. Looks like we're pushing up on them pretty well. Oh, hold on. We have a lot of land up here that's uncovered. I'm gonna go cover that up. I will take the responsibility. Oh, there's a lot. Oh my gosh, how'd they mess with all this? You'll see. It's not down there. Look at this area. Nothing. Nothing. I kind of just passed it up to go down. Okay, we're gonna want it. Because this map tends to be close a lot. Either that or it's a complete landslide. Although, I'd also like to mention the fact that this is a parking garage roof. I think it's a roof. Oh, our first kill? Yeah! One shot killed her. I mean, one semi-automatic burst, I suppose, killed them. If there's one person that jumped down, I'm gonna try and get them. Yeah, this is a pretty good killing machine, I gotta say. I like it. Semi-automatic is always weird for me, but... Hey, if it just takes one press of the R button to knock them out, I'm good. Blasters are really the only other weapon that can kill in one shot. Yeah, look at that! That is a ton of offensive power! How have I never used this before? I love it. It outranges a lot. I guess the big drawback is supposed to be that it's semi-automatic, but that's not that bad. It's not that bad, to be honest. 
Boy, boy, know what you're up against. Get that trade. The trade. Okay, doesn't look like they're pushing up on our land. Don't know how they would because they're all dying immediately after they spawn. I think we're good. Look at this. We have most of this. So, yeah. That's a win. Probably. If they don't come back in the next 30 sec. I saw him. I saw him. Boy, get back here. Someone has to take him out. Guys. I got one hit on him. Dude, get back here. I think they got him. Okay, we're good. We're good. Back to destroying them. Uh, not sure if that hit anyone, but it was good for just coverage. Like, that big little sonic boom that they do doesn't cover ink anywhere, but it will pretty much knock anyone out that's caught inside of it. Although, it's very rare that it actually works. It's good for tower control, where you can cover the tower with it, basically. Four kills and no deaths. And we have someone else with nine kills. That was a good sniper. That's what a good sniper looks like. Of course, they had a, a guy get carried because he had no kills. As a carbon roller, more over. Also, I'd like to mention, it looks like I have a hose round around, wound around my nozzle nose. I think that's the joke. Because it's H3? I don't know. Alright, back here again on more A Towers. It seems like we're just getting the same places over and over again. But we're not getting Walleye Warehouse, so I'm I'm appreciative of, of that. Or at least not getting it as much as we're getting the other two. Which is good, because as I mentioned before, Walleye Warehouse is probably my least favorite level. I like pretty much all the others. And if you didn't know, uh, all of the levels on this Splatfest were actually chosen by a vote. And so you can actually go onto like Nintendo's Twitter and you can see all the vote results of all the different countries. It's pretty interesting, like, seeing what the different countries enjoy the most. I'm not sure what percentages they won, like how much they won. Where are they? Okay, they're just up there. There are two of them, so we knocked out two of them at the very least. Yeah, the Echo Locator, just to clarify, will lock on on any inks that or any squids that are still alive. So usually if you see only like two marks, that means you're doing good. You just knocked out like half the team. I'm going to him. Having stealth jump means I can jump much into much more contested areas because they're not going to be aiming at me right when I start. So that's good. Looks like we're doing well here though. Cover up this land and I think I'm going to just like get myself a little hidey hole like right here. Wait for them to jump on right down. Oh, there was a mine there. That's okay, I still have my spot. Yo, why would you aim there? How did you know up there? Uh, maybe they had an echo locator? Well, no, because you can see when they're... They got that. I guess I'll take responsibility for that. Huh, I guess he was just covering the green, but that was such a small amount of green to cover. You think he'd care more about the middle. Okay, he killed him. Once again, I'm just going to say killed and cells splatted because it's it's just muscle memory on words. That's a thing, right? Ooh, we can get up here. Boy! Okay, I got way too close to an arrow spray. Never mind. And I'm bad at aiming, that too. Uh, we got a guy way up in their base covering all of their land. See him? Jushy? Jushy doing work. They just put an ink strike on our guy. One of our guys died to the ink strike weak. Never die to an ink strike, kids. I mean, I'm not complaining. Our team's doing pretty well. Stuck with them for the last few matches, and they've been winning. Holy moly! All four of them were right there. Uh-oh. Y'all better come back quick. We have 30 seconds to stop their push. Don't die, Ben. Ben, you can do this. No, Ben died. Okay, knocked out one of them. Knocked out two of them. I think we're good. Not sure where the... Oh. oh I'm going to cover this. I'm going to cover this. Nope, you're not killing me. Not today. I am staying alive. I couldn't use my ult. My ult. My special. Uh-oh, this one's close. This one's a lot closer than I wanted it to be. I think they might have gotten it. You know what? They won that because we didn't cover all of our side. 
There's a lot of open splotches on our side. That's what cost us the game. Oh my goodness. Also, I only killed one guy and I died to five? Okay. I did bad. I did bad. I'm gonna take responsibility for that loss. Jeez. Well, battle again. Playing at Moray Towers again. This is getting weird. All right, they have a slightly higher power level. Maybe we can win. Maybe we can kick their bootes. All right, we have a roller this time, so I don't have to worry about covering our land because that cost us the last match. Hopefully the roller will capture all of ours because that's what rollers do. They capture these lanes. Also, if I had the squelcher, that would also be a very good pick for this map because all the long range openings. Go ahead and echolocate. They are all on that side. We need to kill them. Oh, that's danger. Someone has an ink zooka. Ooh, good choice. So you can actually get behind those walls and uh, it'll protect you from the ink zooka. Okay, he is shooting at me from above. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Oh, that guy just died to it. Get him, I can get him. Jeez, that took two R's. Memer XD. Lay Memer XD. Get out of here. I never want to see that name ever again. Please, stop it. Uh, looking like it's a bit on their side right now. We need to make a comeback. Well, it's hardly a comeback. It's pretty close. I'm going to cover some land, get some echolocation. Echolocation, that's the word, right? Oh, wow. Nope. Get away from me. We have a lot of pink on our side. Whoa! You need to go away. And so is whoever's going to drop down here. Got him. And they're ink striking it. The only la the last guy alive is right there. Oh, he has his bomb thing. Not even dealing with that. Okay, let's just cover spots. We have an ink zooka on our side, so it should be destroying them. Looks like he just took out that other guy. Moving forward, pushing, gotta get some land. They have a lot of open splotches on their side, and so do we. Where are they at? Ugh, I'm gonna get up here. Oh, there's a guy behind me too! They're all on me! Guys! Chase him back, what are you all doing on our turf? I'm gonna cover all those splotches, that's bad. That is so bad. That cost us the game last time. Roller, you gotta do a better job. Come on, dude. Hopefully they're holding the ground. It looks like they all just died. They all died. We're gonna lose this. Come on, guys. Work. <laughs> I don't think they realized that they killed us all off, so they didn't push that much. <clears throat> that wasn't even a trade? Oh my goodness, it seems all like autumn like all of a sudden I lost all the power in my thing I Think we won still though, so we're good what at the very last second they covered like so much ground We had it until they covered that ground We still had it 0.4% they almost got us Wow that was a scary game, and once again, I only killed one person. I think that might be a sign for me to uh, put in the nozzle nose. I think we're done with that weapon. All right, well, I think I'm going to also switch weapons and end the episode. So, join you next time when we're playing with a new weapon. Also, I've decided I'm going to make this series five episodes. The last episode's going to be the very end of the Splatfest. So, see you all next time for more Splatfest. See you all then.